Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. We are going to start the management of which when the baby decides to come with either the buttocks, the legs, or the feet. Where you should be able to manage the baby well without causing any complication. So the first thing that is the first thing that the midwife does when breach is suspected, or you have confirmed breach at the thirty second week, and then the woman is going to deliver. Remember that at a point the baby will have to hang on its weight to bring the head down, and for that matter, you have to separate the bed. If the bed, you know, sometimes you have two pieces of bed that you bring together to make a complete bed. And so if that, the bed is said that you can't separate it, then you have to bring the woman to the edge of the bed so that the baby will get a place to hang. Now, what you need to do is to check the fetal heartbeat. Check the fetal heartbeat to ensure that the fetus is alive. You explain the procedure to the mother. So either the antenatal, the mother, the baby is going to through the bed canal. But this time around, it is not the head that the baby is bringing. It is bringing its buttocks or the legs. So let's see how we can conduct the delivery. I'm going to explain to the mother that I'll bring her, I'll support her and bring her to the edge of the bed. Mommy, show to breath. Mommy, bring me about close to the edge of the bed. After I have separated the bed, if it is a continuous long bed, still bring the woman to the edge of the bed. That is the foot end of the bed. I hope it's clear. Then I'll ask my assistant to listen to the fetal habits, to check to ensure that the fetus is alive. Okay. Mommy, a brush. Please, those of you who don't understand tree, my woman cannot speak English. So you, I'm going to use both languages for you to understand it. Remember, we mentioned that we have three types of incomplete breach. These are the frank breach where baby extends the legs, if you remember. I told you with Frank Bridge, this is how the baby behaves. Extend both legs like this. But then with the foot limb, you see the foot limb. You will see the foot limb where the baby's leg will enter the pelvis like this. One leg is hanging. Sometimes both legs are here. Sometimes both legs are inside like this, and it has even captured the membrane, so the legs are hanging. Now we have what we call the kneeling, the kneeling bridge, where the baby will bend the legs like this. You see? So the knees are now the presenting part this way. That is kneeling. But this time we are going to conduct the delivery where the baby has completely flexed itself. So we call that one complete breach. That is one type of breach. Complete breach and then incomplete breach. Incomplete breach is where we have these three things. The kneeling, the footling, and then the frank. Okay. So are we together? Are we together? Me too. 
Okay. Yes, sister. 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 Yes,
but doesn't mean you shouldn't touch the baby. So that when the baby is coming, then you are standing there, okay, Madam, push, hands up, reach, hands up, reach, then the baby is coming. The baby is coming, the baby will fall into the pits. The baby will fall down, and you have to write an accident report. So make sure that you understand the maximum. Okay. So now I'm confirmed, even though the woman is telling me that she feels like pushing, she feels like going to the toilet, contractions are now very, very strong. I will still have to confirm the second stage of labor. So, madam, I'm putting my hand inside your vagina to assess your cervical dilatation. Still, you have to do the swabbing that Auntie Felicia did for you to see. So then, the vulva toileting will come in, use your left hand, clean the labia, minor, uh, the majora first, the labia, majora the other side, then the labia, one of them goes to the labia, minora. This baby is talking, he's bringing the legs up. Then the last one to the, another labia minora. Then you use the left hand to pat the vestibule. Then you clean the vestibule this way down. Please, do you understand? Are we together? Hello, are we together? Yes, yes, sister. Yes, I do. So then I'll ask the woman to push. I've placed a towel on the woman's abdomen already. Okay. So the woman is pushing. Mama Chem, you the woman is pushing. Now, as the woman is pushing, this is the time that the maximum hands of bridge will come in. Uh, you don't have to write to go and bring the legs out. That's why some people do that and then they put fracture either of the, 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 the tibia or the hemorrhoids. I mean, the, the fem femur. So you see that as the mother is pushing, then the buttocks of the baby will just curve up. If you remember when we we're doing the, the, uh, the mechanism of right sacro anterior now it is right now it is left sacro anterior so that you see that the bottles will curve up now when the bottles curve up like that the legs will disengage and so you see the baby in this position you see the baby in this position please take note of this in bridge delivery under no circumstances should the baby's abdomen be turned up a bush. You rupture the spleen, rupture the, the liver of the baby. So you don't have to. You don't have to deliver the baby where the abdomen will turn up. Always the back of the baby should face a bush. So now this botox is delivered. The legs are delivered. The next thing that the midwife does is to cover the baby to prevent chills to prevent the baby from chills so you cover the baby it is when you don't cover the baby that baby feels cold and it will extend the the head when if you have observed when babies are feeling cold especially when you are sponsoring them and he starts shivering am i seeing I am not see you. So that, <laughs> yes. So that if you don't cover the baby, that is where baby will feel chilled and it will then extend the hair because when the baby is shivering, <laughs> he would do that and then extend the head. And that is when you have to use molecules nearly yet metal to deliver the head. Initially, you would have used the Benz Masha if baby had flexed the head. Take note because definitely the head here will bring this in her face. 
and in the final exams. So take note of what I'm say, saying. If you don't understand something, prompt me, I'll go over it. So I'm going on. So for demonstration purposes, I'm, I'm taking off the sheets, but assume that the baby, we have covered the baby, to prevent the baby from chills. I hope it's okay. Can I continue? Yes, please. Yes, 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 mama. Yes, yes, mama. Yes, please. So, mama has. I've covered the baby. Now, I told you in bridge there are four stages that you have to employ to deliver the baby. Until the baby comes out, you are remember you are dealing with four stages. The first stage is where the doctor is delivered, the legs are hanging. Now, we are going to do four V before the baby is born. The first V is when you confirm 10 centimeters of bicarb dilatation. The second V is at this stage. I'm doing V to ensure that the umbilical cord of the baby is not nipped between the baby's body and the under surface of the symphysis pubis. Other than that, what do you think will happen? Hello, this is a general question. You have to be involved in your own learning. What Hi. do you think? Uh, yes, what will be the, the, the consequences? It will, co it will prevent blood flow <laughs> and then uh, blood flow to the brain. Okay. It will cut off the blood supply. Exactly. The, it will cut off blood supply to the fetus. And maybe my guy. You will deliver, deliver fresh SV. So in order to avoid that, you do vagina examination the second time, then you make what you call loop of cord. I'm making a loop of cord. You see, I've brought the cord this way, but it should be gently done. If you hold the cord with force and with pressure, you cause spasms in the blood vessels and baby becomes severely asphyxiated. So I've made a loop of cord. Remember, the cord was, I used my... Please watch the way I'm making the loop of cord. This is the cord, right? This is the cord. I'm placing my fingers in between the cord to bring it to the side from the surface of the symphysis pubis. I'm not holding it tight. I'm just bringing it slowly to the side. So that is what we are supposed to do. So it's the same way that I did and I have brought the cord to the side. Now, I will encourage the woman to continue pushing. Madam, push. Push. The woman is pushing. Then I'm applauding her. Why are you dear? Oh, you have done well. Good. I'm delivering the trunk. That is the second phase, the third phase of it. I'm delivering the, the trunk. Give me the second phase. The second one. So I'm delivering the, 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 this thing, the trunk. So now... So now, baby's abdomen, because I've made a loop of cord, baby's trunk is out. I'm going to do the third V. I'm going to do third vagina examination. Please watch. The reason why I'm doing the third vagina examination is I want to feel the elbow of the baby. If baby's arms are folded on the chest, you do V, you feel the elbow. Then it tells you that baby has folded the arms on the chest. But if I do V and my hand should enter the axilla of the baby, it means baby has extended the arms. Telling me that then I have to use last maneuver to deliver the after coming out of the bridge. But now that the baby's elbow is felt when I did the V, I felt the woman's, I mean, the baby's yeah. elbow telling me that baby has flexed the arms on the chest. I hope that point is clear. Is it clear to everybody? Yes, yes. Mama. yes. Mama. yes. Mama. 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 okay. 
So now that now that the elbow of the baby is felt, I'm now going to give the shoulder. So that is the third stage of the delivery. I'm going to deliver the the shoulder, and this is how I will do it. I will use a sheet. So this is a sheet to cover the waist of the baby, right? Now, I will use my fingers to wrap the iliac crest of the baby. I'm holding the waist of the baby past my thumb. My thumb will be pointing to the safe room of the baby. Please, can you see? My fingers, my four fingers, my four fingers are wrapping the waist, holding the waist of the baby. Let me take this thing. I'm holding the waist of the baby. My thumb are pointing to the safe room of the baby. Please have you all seen. Now I'm applying pressure to deliver the anterior shoulder by downward traction. You see the shoulder has now come under the symphysis pubis. In the same way, I will lift the baby up. I will lift the baby up like this. Watch. I'm not entering to bring the hand out. Because once the posterior shoulder, once the posterior shoulder is out, the baby's hand will just drop. It will come down like this. This is what some of you have been fighting with the baby. At this stage, the midwife will enter. Come on, bring the hands. And then you struggle it. Bring the hand. You do that, you break your core structure for that poor baby, that innocent baby. So we say lift the baby up like this. When the shoulder is out, the arm, it will come out by itself. Do this and then the hand of the baby will come down. And so now we are now leaving the baby to hang on its weight. Please, any question at this point? Somebody's hand is up. Okay. Sister. Yes. Um, please, as you've placed your hand at the circum to um, um, pushing the baby up and down to bring the hands out, is there any mm -hmm. possibility to cause any tears at the um, clitoral area and the perineum? No. This part of the baby will not cause any clitoral tear. Because you confirm second stage of labor before I think they want to push. We confirmed it. And so there's no cervical rim. And when the head is entering the brim, it means the pelvis is adequate enough to deliver the after coming here. And so there wouldn't be a tear. At this stage, there wouldn't be a tear. Unless you didn't confirm second stage. And because the buccus is smaller than the head, then you are likely to cause tear. Either cervical tear or perineal tear or clitoral tear, as you mentioned. Do you understand? Yes, sister. Can I continue? Yes, yes sister. sister. Very good. Very good. So now, baby's body, the shoulders, yes, the sister. arms are warm. We are now leaving the baby to hang on its weight. So now you see, it is the weight of the baby that is pulling the head of the baby into the cavity, into the outlet. So that if I had not separated the bed, where do you think this baby will get to hang? So now baby is hanging. We are waiting to deliver the head of the baby. Please watch those of you who are sleeping. If you are feeling sleepy, come out of your bed and stand on your corridor there. And then watch. So now the head, we are waiting to see the name, the hairline of the baby. We are waiting to see it. Now, if the hairline is seen at the vulva, it tells you that the baby's head is in the anterior posterior diameter of the outlet. <laughs> Please watch out. Okay. Cool. So now I'm what I don't know. 
So maybe it's hanging. We assume the head is inside the pelvis. For you to see, that's why I brought it this one out. Now we are waiting to see the hairline of the baby. For about a minute, we are not seeing the hairline. It tells you that the baby's head is in the transverse diameter. Please watch out. Too. So those of you who have been causing cavicular fracture for the babies, don't go and cause any fracture. If you follow it systematically like this, there's no way the baby will break any part of the body. So I'm waiting to see the hairline. That is a colonetical way. Who has so be moving a tickle way? To do the, the fourth V. What am I doing the V for? I'm placing my two fingers, the examining fingers, on the molar bone of the baby. Please watch out. Watch the way I'm doing it. I've, I'm waiting, the hairline is not seen. So then it tells me baby said it's in the transverse diameter. But I want it anterior posterior, like this. So that I can deliver the baby safely. But then I'm waiting, the hairline is not appearing. So I put two fingers on the molar bone, the zygomatic bone of the baby. Then I'm rotating the baby's head gently to the AP diameter. Please, have you seen it? Now the head is now in the AP diameter. If I do it while the baby is inside, you wouldn't see it. That's why I brought it out. I'm doing it again. Please watch. You place your hand on the molar bone of the baby gently. That's the fourth V you are doing since we started this delivery. Then you rotate the head into the AP diameter. Now that is it. Please, have you seen it? Hello. Yes, Hi. Okay. No, now I'm going to deliver the head of the baby. <laughs> I'm going to use the Benz Masha method because baby has flaked the head well. There's no point using the molecules to believe the head because the head is flexed. Okay. So, please watch out. I'm delivering the after coming using the Benz Masha method. Look at the way I'm holding the legs. My middle finger of the left hand will be in between the baby's legs. Please, have you seen it? The rest of my fingers are around the baby's legs. Please, have you seen it? So simple. Middle finger of the left hand in between the baby's legs. The rest of the fingers are grasping the baby's legs because it is slippery. So grasp it well. Before the light core amina will make it slippery and then your hand will come off. It's not good. Hold it firmly. Now, I'm going to apply a steady even traction. What steady even traction means? I'm pulling the baby. And it is the head that I'm lifting. I'm pulling the baby, applying an even steady traction. If you don't make it a steady traction, what will happen is that as if you are going down, as if you are going up at, a, at an angle of 180 degrees. If it is not at an angle of 180 degrees, you bend the baby and then baby will cause spinal fracture. Baby will get spinal fracture. You kill the baby there and there instantly. So hold the baby at an even rate of 180 degrees. Baby is going up like this. Aha! Please, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Now, baby's face is now at the rubber. You can now ask your assistant to suck him because from the baby's mouth and then from the nostrils. Baby's face is now seen. Please, do you understand? Do you understand? Now, I will get yes. hold of the five temperance of the baby. Yes. Very good. I'll get hold of the bitemporal, the temporal diameter of the fetal scar. I'll get hold of it and then flex the baby's head. Flex the head, deliver the baby onto the mother's abdomen. So that is the pitch delivery using the dance martial method.
any question before I move on to the molecules may leave the metal because baby has uh, extended the, the head. That's extended the head. Any question? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Mama. Yes, we are in the with this kind of maneuver, is it possible that you also position yourself such a way that your back will be facing the woman? Is it possible to position yourself that way? Or Ooh, if your back should face the woman, you can conduct a meaningful delivery. You are rather facing the woman. You should rather face the woman. You should rather face the woman to get a proper delivery mechanism. All right. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. So now we have used the Benz Machar method to deliver the upcoming head of the bridge. Now, because we didn't cover this baby from the beginning, baby is feeling cold. And so <laughs> that it extended the head. So now we are going to use the Molecules merely via method to deliver the head. So, heavy coverage. Good. Please watch out. Baby has a standard the, the, the head. How did I know that the baby has extended the head? Baby has extended the head because I was waiting to see the hair like it didn't come. Do you understand? And then I've seen that baby has extended the legs, even at the head, even though the, the head is in the anteroposterior diameter. Because baby has extended the head, the hairline is not seen. I've done the, I've pressed on the anterior molar bone. <laughs> head is now in the AP diameter. Hairline is still not seen. Then it tells you the midwife, no, I have to use molecules merely via method. Let's see how it is done. Now, look at the baby's legs. I'm going to position my palm, my palm, to support the chest of the baby. So please watch out. I'm positioning the baby's chest, supporting the baby's chest with my palm. Then my middle finger of the left hand will be in the mouth of the baby. The pointing finger, please watch carefully. The pointing finger, that is the index finger, will be on the shoulder. <laughs> the pointing finger will be supporting the shoulder. While the ring finger will also support the other shoulder of the baby. Now the right hand. The middle finger will be aiding flexion. The middle finger of the right hand will be aiding flexion. While the pointing finger or the index finger of the right hand will meet its fellow at the other side. You remember we did that. Now, the ring finger, watch out. The ring finger will also meet its fellow. So, in a nutshell, you will see that Whilst the middle finger of the right hand is pressing on the occiput of the baby, the one in the mouth is also aiding flexion. The idea is we are flexing the head to deliver it before the mother gets in the perineal tear. Whilst the shoulder, the shoulder is also being attracted. We are pulling on the shoulders. So sometimes in objectives, you will see something like which of the following maneuvers is applied in an extended head of the bridge. Then you see all the maneuvers there. Which one will you choose? Go ahead, I'm listening to you. He used that device, device to deliver. So that is it. You do that and then you deliver the baby Onto the mother's abdomen. So that is the molecules merely beard method when the head is extended. Sometimes you will see something like 
shoulder traction, head flexion is seen in which aspect of uh, bridge delivery? It is used in which aspect of bridge delivery? What will you say? Monsieur method is used to deliver it. So I'm happy that you have gotten the difference between the lens method and the monsieur's delivery. Let's quickly go to when the baby has extended the arms. The baby who hasn't come to the world, he's coming to the world for the first time. Someone why should they will say, Was it weird? Yeah, you know, but he didn't have me quit or the disability. So we are going to deliver the baby when the arms are extended. How would you know that the baby has extended the arms? Because my hands is here. Hello. Hello. When your hand enters the arm or the axilla, you know baby has extended the arms. In that yes. case, we don't use either of the methods yes. described, but you use what you call love set maneuver. So this is how you do it. Maybe has extended the arm because you entered the axillary. Splint the humerus of the baby. The baby's upper arm. Two fingers are inside, so you use it to splint it. Then you go a little bit further. Grasp the baby's lower arm. Use it to sweep the face of the baby. Like the cat sweeping his face in the morning. Those of you having cats in your house, when you go home, I mean, when you finish the lectures, observe the way the baby behaves. Early in the morning, it will use the hand to be sweeping the face. It's watching the face. So of the obstetricians olden days, observe and say, no, this maneuver can be used the way the cat is behaving. You can use it to deliver the extended arms of the baby. So you split the arm, use it to sweep the baby's face. Now the hand is now down. And this is where we use what we call uh, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Clockwise, anti-clockwise is used in lasset maneuver and not Ben's Bashar and not malicious Meliviate method. Take note of it. So when we meet it anyway, we choose the right answer. Now, we have brought the, the upper arm down by using the lapses maneuver. And that is the clockwise. You know, watch the clock. It goes, ke, 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 ke. when you say anti-clockwise, that is going the reverse way. That's why we say clockwise, anti-clockwise. So now we are going, I'm going to hold the baby by the iliac crest. I won't hold the hand. This one is already out. But I'm going anti-clockwise like this, to deliver the other arm that is extended. So I turn the baby to this side, making sure the abdomen doesn't face a pubus, but it's rather the back. So I turn the baby this way, the same way that I delivered the first uh, arm, I do the same thing. I split the cross of the left hand, then bring it to, you know, that way. Are you getting it? So now I brought the hand down. So I'm now going the anti clockwise manner again this way and then deliver hold here and deliver the anterior shoulder. The shoulder that was delivered first, I'll have to turn it this way and deliver it. In fact, the clockwise, I have already delivered this shoulder. When this shoulder came down like this, this arm came down, we just hold. The iliac crest of the baby, the sacrum, the thumbs are there. Pull it down and deliver the shoulder. This one. Then you come anti clockwise that way and deliver this shoulder the same way. As if you were delivering the baby when the arms were folded on the chest. Then in that case, I've delivered the shoulders. Now you can deliver the baby using the Benz Masha method where you grasp, because it's left with the head. Baby has flexed the, the head. So get hold of the 
Next, apply an intensity traction of 180 degrees, then deliver the head onto the mother's abdomen. But what do we see? What some midwives will do, they will apply all the method. The other day, when somebody was describing, I was laughing, but I didn't say anything. She was applying both Ben's machine methods because she said, you grab, she, she was academically truthful because that was the first time she saw, she came face to face with breach delivery. So she said, oh, I grabbed the baby's leg, I put my hand inside the mouth, and then I pressed the OC put and bring the, bring the baby out. That's what she said, if you were listening. I was just laughing because she just added all the maneuver. And if you know how to diagnose the, the presentation of the head, you will never struggle with the baby. So those of you who have been struggling and fighting with the baby, just because you want to deliver the head, now you know how to go in stages. Don't just put the baby this way, then your hand is there, then at the point you grab the leg, you cause fracture. You cause fracture for the poor baby. This one method, depending on how you see it. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah. So we have delivered we have delivered the pitch we have delivered the baby we have used both best masha method we have used marushu's melivia method and then because baby extended the arms we use the love set maneuver so in an examination if i should ask you which method would you use to deliver the baby when the arms are extended what would you say when the arms are extended. I before, quickly, I sum up the complications of breach. Do you have any questions? To go over the lancet again. It is not lancet. I beg you. I say love, <laughs> love, or do love sex. It love man of the moon. So L O V S E T. Love sex. That's the name of that uh -huh. maneuver. What part of this okay. maneuver? Okay. So I'm saying that. I'm saying that. With last set maneuver, you diagnose that the baby had extended the arms when you delivered the baby up to the trunk. When you wanted to feel the elbow, you rather felt the axilla. Then it tells you that you have to use the last set maneuver. So I said, splint the humerus, the upper bone, uh, the, I mean the upper arm, that is the humerus. Splint the humerus, the baby is having a short humerus, okay? Get closer to the lower arm, that is the fibula. Then make an attempt to place the fibula of the baby in between your fingers like this. Then use it to sweep the baby's face. You see that the hand will come down. Is that okay? You see that the hand will come down. Okay. Now, you turn the baby this way, anti-clockwise. You splint this arm. Splint this arm, right? And then you bring it, use it to sweep the baby's face. I said like a cat sweeping his face in the morning and bring it down. Now you see that the arms are down. It's left with you to deliver the shoulders. Because if the arms are still up there and you make an attempt to deliver the shoulder, you cause fracture. The hand will definitely break. You cause fracture. So in order to avoid that, we are saying that uh, bring the arms down. We have done that. It's left with the delivery of the shoulders now. So you hold, you as if you are leaving the baby by the use of the Benz Machine method. Grabs the iliac crest, your thumb, your thumb is at the sacrum. Then you press the baby's hand down. I mean, you press the baby's body down. Down. Downward crashing, you see that the anterior shoulder will be delivered. Do you understand? Then you go anti-clockwise. Then you press the baby 
down. Then you deliver the, the now this one has become the posterior shoulder. Then you deliver the posterior shoulder. You deliver the shoulder, this shoulder. And after that, I said, grab the baby's head and deliver the face of the baby. Please, do you understand? Grabs the legs. Your middle finger is in between the baby's legs and then deliver the baby onto the mother's abdomen by holding on the bitemperance. I'm talking about the head. And then inflate the head down and deliver it. That is all that I said. So, uh, time is fast. Let's see the complications of breach and then we are done. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm still worried about. Please, you can use your tiny beds to practice the delivery of the breach in your homes. Use the teddy. If you have a teddy bear, again. Can I do what? The delivery. Can I do what? Repeat it. Yeah. Okay. Can I repeat what? Delivery of what? Delivery of what? Hello, please, if you have any question, ask me. I'm here. I'm left to the computer. Hello. Hello, Mama Hans. Yes. The Lord said, Manuvel, I'm not all that clear with that one. Oh, you watch the video, you will see that. Uh, okay. The Lord said, Maneuver. It's not a very important thing. I said, Splint the arm. Splint the arm this way. Splint it this way. And then use the same hand of the baby. baby the baby's hand. To see the baby's face. That's what I said. You see? It's like this. You are using it to sweep the face, and then it will come down. Yeah, we are here. That is the clockwise. You turn the baby this way, and then you are doing that. The baby's hand will come down. Then anti-clockwise. You get access to this side of the arm. Anti-clockwise, because you turn the baby this way. Sprint the mineral this way. Use it to sweep the face of the baby. The hand will come down. Then after that, they get hold of the waist. By downward track, you deliver the shoulder. You turn the baby this way and to cross by depending on which one you deliver first. Then deliver the posterior shoulder. And then the rest, it is not with the head. Deliver the head by best concern method. Leave the baby this way. Get hold of this side. Deliver the baby onto the mother. So that is it. Complications of pitch. Hello. We have complications. Oh, to the baby. And they are made up of the following uh, complications. The mother will end up with vesicle vagina fistula. She will end up with rectal vagina fistula. She will end up with amniotic fluid embolism. Right? Mm. She will end up with anemia, anemia of course, PPH, neutral rupture, foot drop, mm. even normal delivery because of the way you handle some of the mothers, they end up with foot drop. She will be in that position for too long and the nerves there will get damaged. So after delivery, you ask the woman to walk, she's limping. So please, uh, these are the complications to the mother. And then the complications to the baby, you know, we have prouterine hyposia, asphyxia at birth, intracranial injury, intracranial hemorrhage, and then mm -hmm. the facial nerve palsy, from kiss palsy, palsy. They are all the complications as a result of which. So uh, I have formulated the song out of it. So just listen to the song and you can remember the complication. So that if I ask you to listen to the each, the mother and the baby will be able to give five five feet. Should I go on? Should I start? Yes, Mama, start. Yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so complications of breach and enough vesico vagina fees to la oh recto vagina fees to la amniotic fluid and falling them matena distress you try rapture Obstetric shock, fashion is there, PPH is there, it's recorded. So, uh, so that is the complication for the mother. I hope it's clear. Yeah. Yeah, you are too much. Yeah. <laughs> Mama, I repeat it again. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, Mama, please, please repeat once more, please. Okay, it's left to that of the fetus, the baby. Okay, complications of breach are made of vesico vagina, fistula, recto vagina, fistula, amniotic fluid, embolism, maternal stress. You try rapture. Wow, 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 you are too much. Third degree test. Infection is there. PPH is there. Food drop is there. All this out for mother. In trying to try and hypothesia. Intracranial injury. Asphyxia. After birth, fetal distress. Clavicular fracture, nerve injuries, else passy, from kiss passy, facial passy, all this are for baby. So I'm done. About breach, please, when it appears in any aspect of the community, when it has appears in any part of the exam, you should be able to come up with the right. Answers and then pass to abnormal labor, and then you go your way. Is that okay? Uh, <laughs> so now, yes, Mama, yes, Mama, please, I have a question. Yeah, ask me, please. When you are, when you are conducting breach, um, delivery, <laughs> where were you? How would you know that, um, this delivery will need episiotomy, and when are you supposed to give it? Thank you. I think you did abdominal Please. examination. You have asked a question. How would you know that uh, this is breach? Is that not what you are saying? Is that your question? No, please. No, please. The question is that how would you know that the woman would need episiotomy and at what time you know would you give? Need episiotomy. When you conducted you, the second stage of labor, when you confer the second stage of labor, you saw the luminous of the vagina. If she's a premier gravida and then she's presenting by breach, nobody should tell you that you should give the tummy. Definitely you give the PCR tummy. If she's a multiparous woman and the abdomen is quite big, that's why I said you did a examination. You saw the size of the abdomen. You saw the ruminous of the vagina. So that will decide. That will inform you to give an PCR tummy. But if it is a pretend delivery, even though pretend we are supposed to give uh, uh, a physiotomy, but the baby is of average size. Mother is a multiparous woman. Vagina is so gloomy. You don't need to give a physiotomy. But you keep it when you see that the mother is having a, a, a constructed pelvic outlet. You give it when her vagina is too tight. Give it. You don't wait for somebody to come and tell you. So that is what you have to come to see it. I hope I've answered your question. Thank you very much. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, okay. Mama. Yes. Thank you. So, any question? That? Mama, uh, please, I have a question. Okay, ask me. Okay, Mama. 
Go ahead. Oh. Please, can we, can we deliver? Can we start the bridge? Uh, bridge? Unmute yourself and answer a question. Unmute yourself and ask. Hello. 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 I was asking, is, uh, is it possible that the hands will be extended at the same time the head will not be fixed? But who had her question and can repeat it for me? I didn't hear it. Hello? Hello. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I was asking, is it possible that the hands will be extended and then the head will not be well placed at the same time? And the head will not do what? As the arm fights, and then the head will not do what? Same time. Well, flexed at the same time. Ah, the baby has extended the arms. And the head is also extended. Is that what you're asking? Is that your question, please? That is it possible that baby will extend the head and the arm? Is that it? Is that your question? Yeah. Yes, yes, I will say yes. Because if baby extended the arms and after delivering the bottles and then making a loop of cord and delivering the trunk, if you didn't cover the baby, the baby will feel cold and definitely it will extend the head. And so at that, at that time, you use both lapsed maneuver and then the malicious Melivet method to deliver the arms and then the, the head. But the head extension, you post it. You, the midwife, caused it. So that is it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are done. And Mama then, Hatch, yes. I have a question. Uh, please, I have a question. Yo, yo, I the last question, ask me. Uh -huh. Go Mama ahead. Hatch, please, wait. A descent, hair descent in normal cephalic baby. Uh -huh. We said it's different. What about bridge? What name oh. is given to a descent in bridge? Oh, then it, we, we said we call it compaction. We call oh, it come again. Because you were not there when you were treating the, the, the antenental of bridge. We said descent takes place throughout, but in bridge, there's increased compaction. We oh, said okay. in bridge. Increase compaction. That is the name we give to it. We said it last week. Last week I said it when we were treating the bridge. Last oh. week I but yeah, but don't worry. Don't worry. Hello. So that, yes, yes. Is, uh, uh, with these complications that we have had, uh -huh. is it good to conduct bridge uh, uh, delivery in the chief's compound? I think we, we, we said a in lot. In the chief's compound, you access. Assess. Assessment is very important. If you do proper pelvic assessment and you realize that woman is in second stage, she is not roomy. You give a pisciotomy. Don't go and cut through the cord. Okay. Make sure you don't cut through the cord. But if this is not in the okay. second stage, labor, refer to the parents' facility. On account of breach presentation. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that they can come down the delivery okay. day. Mm. Because you have to get ready to resuscitate the baby. Baby may become severely aggravated. So depending on the size of the baby, if it's a preterm baby, you give a episiotomy, it will come out easily. You wouldn't suffer. Or the baby, the abdomen is of average size or moderately large. You can manage it. But if the baby is big, she's a primitive gravita. Please don't try at the, the, the district there. Don't try at the chief zone. No, it won't help the mother. Neither will it help you. We will end up with the, the complications that we have mentioned. Okay. On these notes, go and watch the video. Rehearse, study, and then when you meet it in any in exams, you'll be able to pass and pass well. I thank you for your attention. I'm done, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.
Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.